Hello, my name is Adam, and today I'm going to be talking about the book The Idea of You by Robin and Lee. This was the 2021 February selection for the 702 Book Club, a local book club where I live. So going into this book, I didn't know much about it. All I did know is that it had been selected in the 2020 uh, list written by the skim of eight books that both you and your mom would love. And I had read the synopsis, which basically says that, you know, Celine, a 39 year old mom ends up going to a concert of August Moon, a very popular boy band with her daughter, Isabel, who's 11, no, who's 12, excuse me and ends up meeting one of the members and from there this romance ensues that involves clove trotting romance so that's pretty much all that i knew going in right out the gate i do have to say that i was a little put off because the first chapter is titled las vegas and seeing how my book club is 702 book club based in las vegas uh it was a little off-putting that the author spoke so despairingly about Las Vegas, basically at one point saying like gutter trash or something like that. Like I'm paraphrasing, but it was definitely a little bit of a put off. I don't like reading about my home in the, that context. And, you know, Vegas has a lot more than just, you know, strippers and gambling and all of that. So I thought that was a little, I don't know, off-putting, but... I did keep reading and I will say initially when I first started reading, I definitely was considering DNFing this. And the reason for that is it is written very juvenile. It comes off very YA and if it weren't for the sexy steamy parts of the novel, I would assume it was YA. Um, but it, it reads much more like new adult. I would not categorize this as adult romance. I It just doesn't really work for me as adult romance. It's much more new adult because again, I do think that the writing in general is somewhat juvenile. And you're also dealing with characters who also are somewhat juvenile, right? Like she is a 39, uh, year old who ends up turning 40 throughout the course of the book and she just makes some really strange decisions and I just don't think somebody who has a daughter who has gone through the a divorce would be making the decisions that she is making. She's a business world woman, she's very affluent and it just didn't come off as 100% natural or really believable to me that she would be making some of the decisions she would be making. Uh, then there was also having to di suspend disbelief that this 20 year old boy band member would get into this, you know, glow trotting romance with a mother. It's not even so much her age, I think. I think it's the fact that it's her age compounded with the fact that she is a mother. And, you know, obviously I think like a boy band member could definitely sleep with someone like that. But I don't know if I would believe that this huge epic romance would happen between the two. I do have to say, like, as I read it and as I went further in the book, it seemed a little more believable. But they were both he was making decisions and he came off the main character Hayes the boy band member he came off more mature to me than the mother did in a lot of instances I just thought that he definitely had an old soul that part was definitely captured you know it's clear that he preferred older women but I don't know there was a lot of you know disbelief I had to suspend my belief you know like and the biggest thing for me about the book in general was it read like fan fiction. And this is both a good thing and a bad thing for me. I am a huge fan of fan fiction. I think, you know, it has its place. It 
it's something that I read frequently. I would say I probably read, you know, I read it every week probably, at least once. You know, I'll read one fanfic thing. I tend to read long-form fanfiction, and that is exactly what this, uh, this book felt like. It felt like fanfiction, and if I'm being honest, it felt like a trope that I don't typically enjoy, you know? Um, where the writer ends up inserting themselves in either a canon character's life or a celebrity's life. It's not really a trope that I admire or I even like, and that's exactly what I felt this book was. The writing itself even reminded me of fan fiction, and kind of the middle of the road fan fiction. I have read much better fan fiction than this book. Um, and that's not to take away from the book. I did enjoy the book. I felt like it was entertaining. I was entertained throughout the book, but I just felt like there could have been more. I definitely felt like there was this plot point between Celine and Hayes. So, you know, you have this relationship happening and it does seem somewhat natural and it comes off natural and it happens but Hayes has a bandmate Oliver who there's some kind of history there throughout the book and I just felt like the book in general could have been better served if it kind of focused on that a little bit more as well almost if you know there were chapters written in Hayes perspective I think that might have helped this a little bit or if you got to understand exactly what was between Hayes and Oliver. It was definitely something that I wanted a little more from. I wanted to know really what was it between them. And, you know, it's alluded to towards the end, but you never fully find out what it is between them. And the biggest thing for me throughout the course of this book was the major plot point, the major plot device was about whether or not, you know, her telling her daughter, right? Like it was the main plot throughout the book. Yes, the romance was a plot, but the main mechanic, the main device was like her telling her daughter and how will her daughter react? And that to me did not come off naturally to me. I, I think as a parent, right? Like, Yes, as long as if my child, you know, is being respected by my partner, whoever that may be, I don't think that it should be this huge thing, right? Like, just tell her who it is. I didn't understand that. I also felt like the ending, you go through this whole book and, you know, it's bad decision after bad decision on Celine's part. I think she just wasn't making the wisest decision throughout and things are hinted at or possibilities because you know there's this part where they are still having safe sex but not as safe as they could be on Hayes's part and I just thought like it it made no sense why did you even put that part in there I kind of expected the main character to get pregnant at some point because with the amount of sex they were having and without any, you know, protection on his part, you know, birth control isn't 100%. And it was very shocking that, you know, they known each other for like two months and had pretty much only a sexual relationship at this point. And she was just like, oh, I can skip the, the condom. Like, I can skip it. Like... I don't know. It was very strange to me. I did not understand that at all. Um, again, these are just like minor things, but as a whole, it helped me, you know, like come to the point of where my rating was. I really, like I said, the fan fiction part was both good because I felt like it has that bingeable fan fiction quality to me. But on the flip side, the writing... I don't think this book would get published if not for the fact that the author is a celebrity. She is an actor, a writer, director. Uh, she's involved with Hollywood. 
And I don't think like if a normal person went to a publisher to publish this as it is published, I'm not sure it would be published. And I mean, that's just my honest opinion. Uh, but I enjoyed it. I really liked it. I thought it was bingeable. It's one of those books that you can get through very quickly. You know, I think I got through it in a couple of days and I kept wanting to know what was going to happen. And at the end, I was just so kind of disappointed because it was all like, it's like bad decision after bad decision after bad decision. But then at the end, there's like this realization, but the realization didn't come from her actual daughter. In my point of view, it almost seemed like the final, final realization was the effect it would have on Hayes, the romance part. And I, I don't know, that just didn't sit very well with me. Like it was not necessarily a happily ever after, uh, yeah, I don't know. It was kind of open-ended. I mean, it, it was, it was done, like, but I just, the ending for me kind of like, uh, uh, because I almost felt like, what was the point? Like, why did I read this? That's where I was at the end of it. And I don't always have those feelings on endings like this, but in this case, I felt like given that some of the plot devices weren't fully explored and just the characters themselves. Like sometimes I felt like the characters weren't being true to the characters, especially on Celine. I think Celine was a very difficult character for me. I wish I connected with her a little bit more. I don't know if it was necessarily the writing or just the character development as a whole. Like I just felt like the writing wasn't staying true to how I was viewing the character throughout the book. And so when it came to the end, I was left just like, this doesn't seem like something she would do. Or like, why would she do this after it was okay the entire time? So I don't know. I definitely enjoyed some of the side characters as well. I thought Oliver was a very interesting character. I do wish it would have been explored again or at least better understanding of why he was so aggressive towards Celine and his relationship with Hayes because, you know, Hayes is all about Celine and I think it was very interesting that, you know, things didn't come to head even though Celine had told Hayes some of the things that Oliver did. And some of the things that Oliver did, especially like the first little interaction he has with Celine himself, it was more than aggressive. Like it was sexual aggressive. And it was like, it definitely like stopped me while I was reading because I was like, what is happening here? And like, she doesn't even like, I don't know. I don't want to give too much of the story away. I do think if you like romance, you're probably going to like this. If you like fanfic, you're probably going to like this. I mean, I liked it. It was fine. It, you know, I'll never reread it. I can tell you that much. Like, it's not a reread for me. And it's definitely not a favorite. But I'm glad to have read it, right? Like, I'm glad that, you know, it, it served its purpose. I was entertained the, throughout the entirety of the book. And... You know, I, I would like to see if she writes things in the future and see if her writing evolves. And hopefully it's not as blatant of a fan fiction because this was pretty evident that it was a One Direction Harry Styles fan fiction. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, give a thumbs up, hit that little bell notification, and until next time, happy reading.